It wasn't that I'd suddenly become converted to a belief in nuclear airplanes. It was rather this was the only avenue open for ORNL for continuing in reactor development. That the purpose was unattainable, if not foolish, was not so important. <laughs> a high temperature reactor could be useful for other purposes, even if it never propelled an airplane. He knew that to make the nuclear airplane work, they couldn't use water-cooled reactors. They couldn't use high-pressure reactors. They couldn't use complicated solid fuel reactors. They had to have something that was so slick, that was so safe, that was so simple, that operated at low pressure, high temperatures, had all the features you wanted in it. They didn't even know what it was. I think someday this will be looked at as one of the great pivot points of history, that if this program, this nuclear airplane program, had not been established, the molten salt reactor would have never been invented because it is simply too radical, too different, too completely out of the ball field of everything else for it to be arrived at through an evolutionary development. It had to be forced into existence by requirements that were so difficult to achieve, and the nuclear airplane was that.